know you detailed through them, re-detailed through them. You had contribution, competence, connection, confidence, challenge, contentment, choice, and climb. Uh, I think most people would probably get the top four. Could you dig into a bit on challenge, contentment, and choice? And, and, and like why those rank where they are above, above climb? Yeah, well, I, I mean, and what's really stunning to me, I have to say, is that since doing that research, every keynote I do, every workshop, I have people do some sort of self-assessment and we do a poll. I am constantly, I always kind of hold my breath for a moment waiting for the poll results to show and think, okay, this is the time it's all going to go south. And consistently, I'm finding that contribution is at the top, toward the top, and climb toward the bottom. And then the others kind of jiggle up and juggle up around them. So I'm not sure that I can explain why they are ranked as they are. Um, you know, challenges about um, stretching yourself, stepping out of the discomfort of the comfort zone into the com discomfort zone where learning is amplified, um, doing what you think you maybe couldn't do before. And so maybe that's ranked a little lower because that's hard work. You know, right. it, it's, it's tough to make yourself intentionally uncomfortable to take on stretch assignments and special projects and things that, that tax you more. Uh, and yet, I know when I reflect on my own career, it was that hard stuff where I really tested my metal right. and figured out what I was capable of and took my skills to the next level. So that may be part of it. Um, contentment. We did the, um, the survey, uh, the study back in the beginning days of the pandemic. And now where we are in, in terms of return to work and whatnot, it's interesting in the informal surveys that I do in training and keynotes, I'm seeing that contentment is coming up much higher today. Mm. And I think we you know, have a, a special lens on that after these last couple of years as we you know, confronted our mortality and had to really look at what was important and what are my priorities and I need more balance. And so I think a lot of folks are, are really looking at a different relationship with work from that standpoint. And then the same with choice, the informal polling that I'm doing now has choice getting a lot more attention and not surprising as, as organizations are inviting employees back to work and there's that struggle with, you know, do I want to be remote? Do I want to be on site? Do I want it to be hybrid? People want more control over the, the where and the when and the how of their jobs. And that is can be a powerful opportunity for growth when we expand someone's decision-making authority, when we uh, expand their autonomy, there's terrific opportunity for development in all of that. Mm -hmm.